Wait for it. Wait for it. And the car cut off. This has to be one of BMW's most annoying feature, the automatic start and stop. I get it, there's a button you can press here and disable it so every time the car comes to a stop, it doesn't shut off automatically. But every time you turn off the car and turn it back on, it resets it and you have to press that button again. And a lot of times you just kind of forget to do it and the car shuts off and it's annoying. It also makes me wonder, how much premature wear does the car's starter experience? If it's continuously stopping and starting, several times during the commute. Sure, you probably get slightly better fuel economy, but is it really that much to justify the annoyance of this feature? Yeah, I don't think so. Let me go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by it resets every time. You see this button up here? Disables the automatic auto start stop. You can tell because the little light turns on. I'm gonna turn off the car, All right? Let it turn on the car again. And you see? Now we got automatic start and stop activated again and you would have to press the button again. So in order to address the automatic start stop, I'm gonna be using Carly to code this car. While I've been sponsored by them in the past, this video is not sponsored. I just use this all the time, whether it is to code my BMWs, uh, register batteries when I do replacements, or even scan the car for codes. It'll give you like a lot of insights about stuff like that. If you guys are interested in Carly, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video's description. It does help support the channel if you decide to pick one up. So all you have to do is plug it into the car's OBD port, which in this case is underneath the dashboard. So now you just have to switch the car on to key position two. You'll open up the Carly app. As you guys can see, my car is already selected, F30. Now we have to go to the bottom here, connect to the car. It'll use Bluetooth connection to connect. It'll start generating vehicle insights. All right, so now that I'm connected, you'll see the dashboard here. You got diagnostics, coding, and you have live data. It's a lot of stuff you can do with Carly, but this is pretty much all of it in a nutshell. I'm gonna go ahead and select coding, continue, and check compatibility. And then Carly will start doing his thing. According to Carly, it says number of compatible ECUs is nine. We'll hit the OK button. It'll give you like a disclosure. And then you have pretty much all these modules right here. Um, we're gonna go to FEM. If you don't already have a backup, you have to do read from car. I'll create a backup in case of anything. I already have a backup, so it's gonna be pretty fast for me. I'll select that top one and hit continue. And then now you have all these coding options just for that module, which is insane. Just to give you guys an idea, you got filter coding options at the top, ambient light, angel eyes, audio, brake lights, brakes, cleaning, comfort functions, home, a lot of stuff. The very first one you guys see up top right here is start stop automatic memory there. That is what we need. So essentially what that means is if you select on, it's gonna remember the last option that you selected. In my case, disable by pressing the, the top button right here to disable automatic start stop and it'll remember it no matter what. Then there's another option right here that says start stop automatic default off. So you can either do the top one or the second one. The second one's just gonna have it off by default. You don't have to press any button at any point. We'll do the top one right here so we have control. I'm gonna go ahead and select on and at the very bottom it says code car. Again, you'll get this caution message here and press the okay button and Carly's gonna go ahead and start coding the car. Coding is successful, just turn off the car, turn it back on as far as the ignition, and you should be good to go. Let's try it out. And then we're gonna select auto start stop off. I'm gonna shut off the car. And now we're gonna start the car again. And as you guys can see, the light is continuously on, meaning you don't ever have to mess with that button ever again, and the car will no longer just automatically shut off when you come to a stop. Hallelujah. So I'm gonna show you guys some other coding options you can do to your car that are not only cool, but helpful and make your life with the BMW much easier. So we're back at the FEM module. Check out this coding option. Comfort close using the remote. So let's say you leave the windows down by accident, all you need is your remote, hold the lock button, and you'll close the windows. Let's try this out. Cold car. Okay, let's say we're getting off the car, we're in a rush, realize, oh crap, left the windows open, all four of them, and the sunroof, get the key fob out, hold the lock button, look at that. Yeah, that's a win. Definitely one of my favorite coding options. The closing one is never enabled, but the opening one, there you go. Hold the unlock button, and everything opens up which I think this one's available from factory. 
I'm also gonna enable comfort folding for side view mirrors. Essentially, you hold down the lock button and it should fold the mirrors automatically. Apparently, some cards require additional coding. If you do enable the comfort folding, make sure to enable this secondary coding option here, unfold mirrors after you unlock. Let's see if this works from my car. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. There you go. The mirrors automatically folded in once I held the button. That's a win. So let's do one more coding option to end the video here. Use this coding option responsibly. Keep your eyes on the road. I just wanted to show you because it's very unique and it's on Carly. Video in motion. Yeah. Meaning you can play video while you're driving. Please be responsible. You see, I have an aftermarket head unit, so I'm not sure how big of an issue that is. But let's say, let me go to the OEM menu. Let's say you have a DVD, I don't know, who uses those still? <laughs> Typically when you drive, they'll cut off the video. You won't be allowed to see it unless you're in park. But with this coding option, you're gonna be able to play that video no matter what. So let's go ahead and code it. There's three of them here. Video in motion one out of three, two out of three, three out of three. You have to do all three of them. Guys, we are driving 40 miles per hour. Video in motion. I don't have the audio up because I don't want to get copyrighted. Video in motion. Um, yeah. Remember, this is for your passengers, not for the driver itself. The driver should always keep his eyes on the road. But there you have it. Video in motion, no restrictions. And look at that, guys. Auto start stop is disabled, and I did not have to press the button when I started the car. Ah, uh, so much better. There's a lot more coding features you can do with Carly. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video in the future. I mainly wanted to focus on the automatic start stop, and hopefully, I'm able to help some of you guys out with addressing it. If you guys enjoyed the video, I appreciate it. If you guys hit the like button, it really does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.